Hello Legends of Ireland. You are watching Aruski TV and today I am making my class. So first you walk to the right, one map, come on, two map, uh, I don't know why I'm talking so loud, I'm like yelling into the mic, I'm sorry, I did not mean to be so loud, and three map. I have never done this before, so I'm not sure what if I'm even doing this correctly, I'm probably gonna die by the time I... Oh, never mind, I have healing potions. So I assume you talk to this guy. Hello there, adventurer. Uh, I know my bulging sack is quite the eye grabber, but my face is down here. I am the mighty Prometheus, giver of class promotions. I was initially going to fill in for Atlas... But after I saw what Kratos did to him, I decided to lay low in a more obscure game for a while. Good thing for that too, because it looks like you could use a promotion. What with you being a beginner and all that, come talk to me once you're level 10. Great, now listen carefully. After I'm done talking here, you'll get the option to choose one of three classes. This is a permanent decision. So choose wisely. First, the warrior class. They are close-ranged, single-target fighters who won't get knocked down easily. They are the slowest moving class, but their brawn makes them great at physical skills like mining. Next, the archer class. Quick on their feet, they'll rapidly pick off weaker enemies from a distance. They do struggle to take down big targets, but their ability makes them great at crafting skills like smithing. Lastly, the mage class. They'll zap, freeze, burn, or even poison their enemies to death. They will get down by even the slightest of hits, but their high IQ makes them great at collection skills like chopping. Now before you decide, I must tell you one more thing. This may sound strange, but this will not be your only character. You will create dozens of characters in your journey, so don't be scared of this decision. Pick the class you think you will enjoy, and know that you'll get to play the other ones soon. Hmm... I am not sure, man. Oh man, we should have looked at the talents first. Where's where's the little guide? Oh man. Anyway, I guess we'll just go with Archer. Archer. This is a tough choice. We'll just go with Warrior. Okay, nice. Well, now that we've got to know each other a bit, how about I tell you about some game lore? Man, they made me skip that. This is not nice, man. Now I have to drop some ores just to pick up these. Oh, never mind, I can get my stuff back. Sweet. Ha, just kidding. A game like this doesn't have any lore. So anyway, the lore masters of this game speak of an ancient land far above these lazy of old blunder hills. Well, you guys already know how to advance, so you don't have to watch the rest of the video. In this crazy place, there are weird sub-mechanics and overly complicated gameplay systems, the likes of which we simple World 1 NPCs could never comprehend. The monsters here are even crazier. Many are references to something called P 
pop culture, which I assume is some sort of bubble religion in their land. But how could I possibly know that, right? Well, this is where it gets interesting. You see, I've seen one myself. See? But no one seems believes me. See? Er, me. It was a giant house with legs or something. I think it only shows up at the top of each hour, but I know it exists. Please go prove I'm not crazy. Find the house monster in the birch grove. Where exactly is the birch grove? I gotta make this game so complicated, man. Well, that's it. That's how you pick your class. I have no knowledge of any classes. So, um, if you want to see class guides, look up... What's his name? Bandit Bob Guides. He makes class guides on YouTube. I think he made a warrior guide. So go check him out. I'll probably link it down in the description. And yes, I appreciate you for watching. Leave a like, comment, share. Give me some ideas. Teach me how to play. I am a newbie. I need help. And if you'd like to see more of this, I mean, yes, if you'd like to see more, subscribe. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye.